Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the vlog. Today is a Saturday, and the only reason I know that is because Saturdays are our only day off throughout the week. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jordan. I am a professional figure skater. I'm currently working on board the Utopia of the Seas, and on Utopia, we are cruising around Nassau in Coco Cay, Bahamas on both three and four day cruises. So my schedule here is quite busy, and I'm actually heading into my last five weeks of the contract. So it is an exciting time and there's a lot going on, but today is our day off. With the exception of drill, we were meant to have an entire day off today to just rest, recover. I like to use this day to be productive and get a lot of things done because I have so many tabs open in my brain at once. We did have two shows last night, but I did wake up pretty early to kickstart the day. I slept so well last night. When my head hits the pillow on a show night, it's game over. I am out for the count. It is no secret that I love sleeping on a satin pillowcase and I'm so excited to announce today's sponsor. So a huge thank you to Kitsch for working with me. So here is my pillowcase. I absolutely love it. It is like a cheetah print and it just looks so luxurious in the cabin. I think it elevates my bed setup for sure. There are so many benefits to sleeping on a satin pillowcase. If you didn't already know, they are so good for your skin and hair. Ever since I dyed my hair back to my original color, I have been so into hair care and taking care of my hair properly. So not only does sleeping on a satin pillowcase reduce frizz in your hair, it also prevents breakage. It's also a game changer for your skin because it reduces breakouts by absorbing way less moisture than a normal pillowcase. The ship water is very aggressive on your skin and hair, so I do have a shower filter, but taking other initiatives like having a satin pillowcase is so important and I have definitely noticed a difference. I will never go back to using a normal cotton pillowcase. I bring my satin pillowcase everywhere with me. Like wherever I go, I will always have my pillowcase with me and I absolutely swear by it. Obviously I didn't style my hair today, but if I was to curl my hair, sleeping on a satin pillowcase actually helps to keep those curls lasting longer overnight. I do you wanna mention the pillowcases come in both standard size as well as king size with a bunch of different color options. And select colors are available in a two-pack packaging, which makes a perfect stocking stuffer or gift for the upcoming holiday season. And this is a limited time offer. These satin pillowcases are the real deal. They have over 10,000 five-star reviews online, so you definitely want to try them for yourself. If you don't already have a satin pillowcase, I highly recommend. And best of all, this is less than $15 using my link below. There's absolutely no code needed. Kids ships in the US and internationally to 27 countries, so head to the link in my description box to receive 30% off. A big thank you once again to Kitsch for sponsoring this video. Breakfast is the one meal in the mess that it's always empty for. Lunch and dinner, different story, but it's very quiet this morning. It's fried egg day. They only do fried eggs like every other day, but even then they don't always keep up with that schedule, which is annoying. So it's always a risk when we come to breakfast. It's every time. I struggled to find an open space where I can roll out my mat because I really wanted to do Pilates this morning. Obviously with my knee, I don't want to do anything too crazy, but staying active is such an important thing for me. So I thought Pilates is a good way to get a nice workout in, but, but to also not put too much stress and strain on my knee. In the last couple times that I did Pilates, even with my knee bothering me, it didn't hurt at all. So. That is the plan for today. I brought up my iPad, so I'm going to play a Move with Nicole video and just follow along.
is no joke. Pilates in general is no joke. Like it seems like it would be fairly easy, simple, but if you are a girly who does Pilates, you understand that it's a lot more difficult than it looks and it just works all those little tiny muscles. So it is even challenging for me, someone who works out all the time and skates four or five times a week. It's always a challenge and I love it and I always feel so strong after it. I can never pour when I first open the oat milk. Can never pour it in the coffee without spilling. Ever. Mm, first coffee of the day, probably first of two or three. I usually have more than one every day. So good. It just hits every time. I've really been loving this syrup that I bought on Amazon. I usually get the Tarani, I think the brand is, but I ended up getting a different one because it was cheaper, actually. This is the Da Vinci Gourmet Hawaiian Salted Caramel Syrup. So, so, so good. I put like one and a half pumps in my coffee and it just sweetens it up like the perfect amount and it's so yummy. Mixed with the oat milk too. I have been out of oat milk for, I want to say a week now or maybe under a week, but I just got my restock yesterday at the ministry. I ended up ordering it from Amazon because I didn't have time to go to the store since I had muster and then I had rehearsals and it was just a chaotic day. It was a busy day one, for sure. So I'm gonna sip on this. I'm gonna wait around for a drill because we have all crew drill this morning, which sucks. Last cruise, our Nassau port day was canceled because of the high winds, they couldn't dock. So we were meant to have drill on that day and they have now rescheduled it to this Nassau. So we're gonna have two drills within, I think about five days, which is not fun. But, you know, is what it is. It comes with the job. So I'm going to finish drinking this, and then I need to get ready for drill because drill can start anytime within the next 20, 30 minutes. These uniform pants do not fit me well at all. Like, they're so bad. Kilo, kilo, kilo. Kilo? Kilo, kilo. Already? Kilo. Okay. This is a drill for the crew, and guest participation is not required. A reminder... This is an all-crew drill today. An all-crew drill. We just finished drill. It took way longer than it needed to. It is now 11.15 and we've just been dismissed. And I've come straight to the mess to try to beat the rush because everyone's coming here to eat lunch. So I've made myself my salad and I've got a side of potatoes with gravy. I'm gonna eat this, Brianna's gonna join me soon and then we'll continue on with the day. That's the lunch. Look who's joined me. My favorite person to eat lunch with. <laughs> the gals and our salads. <laughs> the mess right now after drill is a very scary place to be. Look at how many people are here. All right, we're back from lunch. Time to change out of these gorgeous uniforms and get dressed for NASA. And just like that. <laughs> if only you knew what actually happened in the last 15 minutes. <laughs> Spilled the coffee. It was a fiasco. Residue? Yeah, the residue. Coffee residue spilled all over the carpet, all over my skirt I was going to wear, and I've been trying to clean it up since, but now we're ready. <laughs> it doesn't look that bad right now from the little... camera, but it was really bad. We need a little shampoo. Uh -oh. Sham shampoo <laughs> conditioner? She showed them the skirt. Oh no. It looks like I ran through mud. You had like a, a dog that came up yep. and like had muddy paws. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> We're off the ship now and I'm honestly surprised at how hot it still is even though it's we're well into November now. It still feels like summertime. I want to say in like maybe January, February it's a little bit milder yeah. than now. And we're back. I know I did just get Starbucks yesterday but 
This is really the only thing I spend money on on this contract. So you gotta live a little. My mom would love this. She loves it. That's nice. Expensive here than in North America. It's forty-four dollars here. Forty-four? Yeah. In North America, these are way less. They're like twenty-five. If we get off at NASA, there's a nine out of ten chance that we're gonna grab a Starbucks while we're off. <gasps> they spelled it right. Like, I feel like that's legible writing. Sometimes yes. you go to Starbucks and it's like Doctor Scratch. Get some work done, use some Wi Fi, and just relax. It's nice to get away from the ship from time to time. And there is not a single crew member in sight, which is refreshing. It's, it is really draining. I don't know if that's the right word. It's a lot to be around so many people 24 7. Like, it is exhausting. I think that's part of the reason why. The job can be so tiring is just the constant noise and movement and just chaos <laughs> around you at all times like lunch after drill scary place to be i said it before i'll say it again it is the place that you want to avoid but we wanted to eat quickly before getting off so now we have some peace and quiet We made it back on board and we made it back in perfect timing because as we were walking to the gangway it started downpouring we got very lucky i mean definitely a little bit sticky from a little bit of rain getting on us but once we got on the ship the torrential downpour just uh flooded in so we got we got on just in time but we're back we made it we made it <laughs> uh had a good wi-fi session now i have a lot of other things I need to get. But first thing I need to do is laundry because that skirt was still <laughs> hanging in the shower and I may need to make sure that that coffee stain gets out. So that should be our first order of business. I think so too, yeah. I have a feeling. The shout early. Mm -hmm. Did the job. Unfortunately, the washing machine is currently being used so I'm going to have to hold off on laundry for a little while. That is okay. So in the meantime, I'm gonna change out of this cutie little outfit and just throw on some biker shorts and sweatshirt or something, just something cozy. One of the things I really want to do today is retape my skates. For whatever reason, the tape didn't stick very well on my skates this time around. And this is usually how I paint my skates. Honestly, it might've been because I painted the skates first, just kind of rushed the tape when I went to refresh them. So anyways, it doesn't even matter. I do really want to take all that tape off, retape them and then repaint them. Obviously we've got shows tomorrow, so I do need to get it done today. And I downloaded some Netflix to watch. So I may as well just throw something on my iPad and watch while I am taping them. It'll make the time go by faster. And then hopefully once those are finished, then I can put my stuff into the washer. We're having a good day so far, but there's definitely a lot of things that I want to check off the list, so I gotta keep plugging along. But good news is I have no plans for this evening, so I can just check off the to-do list one by one. Here's my comfy fit for the afternoon. Just got this little cropped zip up and some little active shorts from Halara. I did receive a couple packages yesterday, so I did break down the boxes, but I need to bring this to the incinerator. So I think that's what I'm gonna do first, and then we can go pick up my skates and get to taping. skates as you can see they're not looking the best honestly I've never had my skates look this bad before usually when I tape them and paint them like that it stays really really well like I said I don't know if it's because I half-assed it or what but we do need to take care of this and we did get a new order of skate paint brought on board so it's gonna be slightly lighter than this but I'm just excited for it to look nice and fresh I'm going to take the laces out, I'm going to rip the tape off, and we are going to start from scratch. Let's 
skates are prepped and ready to go. I just really took my time with these. So hopefully the tape doesn't budge at all. It definitely looks a lot smoother than the last time. And then here's the other skate. So I need to bring these to Studio B and get a layer of paint on them. I've got a garbage bag. I'm going to just lay this on the floor. I'm gonna lay this down and then kind of spray my skates and just let them sit here and dry. I think the best way to do this is to just kind of hold it, spray, and then let it stand up like that. I'm gonna let that first coat sit and dry and then we'll be back to spray one more layer. <laughs> hey, at least I was doing something productive before in reading. You were. <laughs> is this the selfie stick? <laughs> no, this is my tripod. I thought it was. I thought it was the selfie stick yeah. that's the size of our cabin. Yeah, literally. Putting laundry away is my least favorite chore to do. I actually don't mind it, but I don't mind it when I'm watching something. Yeah. Like, I like to have, like, at home, I like to, like, put a YouTube video. TV. TV. See, but that's and... fine for me. But here, I'm like, even if yeah. it's my iPad, it's just so crammed. Yeah, it's putting it back in the small wardrobe that's so frustrating and then i have to organize the wardrobe because then that is a little bit messy so then i'm just adding on another task uh -huh. but this needs to get done i was telling brianna i was like <laughs> what else can i do to avoid having to fold this but i am in fact going to have to fold and put away my laundry so it'll get done and it'll literally take me like 10 minutes yeah maybe 15. and then it'll be it'll be easy the longer you put it off the le less you want to do it that's true <laughs> i'm gonna do it i'm being peer pressured into so, it okay pull my leg i guess i will pull my laundry <laughs> let them dry for like 45 minutes so now I'll do layer two and then we should be good to go there we go Benito. I have to say I'm being extremely productive today I'm like getting shit done for real feeling pretty accomplished but I do need to head now to linen I need new towels and I want to also grab some TP. So we're going to head there now before it closes at 7. Uh, may I have two body towels, a floor towel, and toilet paper, please? I'm currently in the process of organizing some things. I had kind of a pile building from last cruise and I didn't have much free time because I had family on board. So I really wanted to tackle that today. And while in the midst of this, I wanted to show you guys some of the recent gifts that I have received. So a huge thank you to anyone who has sent me a card or sent me a gift or given me a gift while on board. Just know that I 1000% appreciate it, but it is not at all expected. I will say if you are thinking to send me a gift, maybe instead you could send me a card or a postcard because I do still have to pack up all of my things when I sign off. The more that I have, the harder it will be to pack and to travel home. <laughs> so huge thank you to anyone who I have been able to meet or you've sent me a letter or anything like that, but thought it'd be fun to share. Some of the recent items I received yesterday and last cruise. So first, a huge thank you to Paki for all of my goodies, my really sweet card. There's a Starbucks gift card in here. I've got some pecan delights, which look unbelievable. So excited to try these. And then we've got some mafas, which are plantain snacks. They are from Panama. So excited to try these out. And, and then there's this cute little bag as well. So a huge thank you, Packy. You guys saw how tragic my slippers are. They're squeaking. 
So a very big thank you, Hannah, for sending me these super cute slippers. They're like the exact ones that I am currently wearing, but they have a purple smiley face instead. So these are absolutely adorable. They are a bit big, unfortunately. I do wear a kid size one, so I'm gonna try to see if I can exchange them for a smaller size. And if not, I will just make them work because they're so cute and they're also so comfortable. You guys know how much I love to read and I did receive a new book, which looks amazing. I know they say to not judge a book by its cover, but how can you not? It looks so good, I'm really excited. So a very big thank you to the Kaplans for sending me this. I just recently finished a murder mystery sort of book, so I'm gonna alternate with some rom-com and then I will dig into this and I'm very excited. I did receive a postcard from Haley, so a huge thank you to you. This next gift is something I actually saw years ago that a guest had when coming on board and I thought it was the coolest thing. So Bill actually sent me an instant translator, one for me and one for Callum, which I'm so, so, so excited about. I haven't set it up yet, but I want to say you talk into it and it will automatically translate for you, which is such a cool gadget to have, especially with the amount of traveling that I do and the amount of people that I speak to from different countries. So I am really excited to try this out. We're going to have to test it, but a huge thank you, Bill. And finally, thank you to the Davises for my gift. I have the cutest little tote bag. It's covered in like candy hearts. Reminds me of Valentine's Day, but it's super cute. And inside we have some fun little goodies. So I've got this bottle bundle. So it's for hand sanitizer, lip balm, and there's a keychain, which is super cute. We've also got a pad so I can write on my to-do lists. And it is magnetic, so it's gonna stick right to the wall, which I'm really excited to use. I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna be put to good use whether I'm here or whether I'm home. And then this is incredible. I love all things artsy, creative, and this is a coloring book. So I am going to have a field day with this for sure. Thank you so much. This is so thoughtful. I'm going to put all of this away in its respective spots and I am starting to get a bit hungry. I haven't decided if I wanted to go to Windjammer for dinner or just go to the mess, but I'm kind of just feeling like going to the mess because this hair needs to get washed. I changed my mind. I am going to Windjammer tonight, so I just quickly freshened up, put a little smart casual outfit on, slicked back the hair because it is disgusting. And uh, we're gonna head up there now. Brianna and I are going to meet Sammy and Trent and have a lovely meal. I'm honestly not that hungry, but I'm sure once I see the food, I'm gonna find lots of yummy things to eat, so. Let's go there. We finished up dinner in Windjammer and Sammy and Trent are gonna get a waffle bubble cone. Well, oh, it looks closed. It does look closed. Oh, strawberry bliss, that one sounds good. It has Pocky in it. Jason, where's our friend Jason? Oh. Nine o'clock they closed. No, what time is it? I said they closed everything up. It's from the Bachelor away and all that. This makes me want to buy a bag of candy. You like chocolate more than candy. But I definitely don't need candy. I already have a lot in the room. back from our very adventurous evening out on the town. I say that with full sarcasm. <laughs> well, it was a bit adventurous. Like, we went to places we don't normally go to. That's true. Actually, we did venture off the beaten path a little bit. <gasps> Ended up on the boardwalk. And um, then we had to go up to Geo's because Brianna left her sea pass there last cruise. And she could not find it. Similar to the battery story in my situation only i never found my battery she found her c pass it was at geo's so we ran up there to pick it up and while we were there i opened the little vino door just to i don't know just for fun and i found a duck inside so yeah i guess we did have a pretty wild saturday night 
I did just run out of shampoo and conditioner, which is not ideal timing considering we only have five weeks left on board. So I did need to buy a restock and I tried to find a shampoo and conditioner that was fairly affordable, that had good reviews and wasn't too big of a bottle so that I'm not wasting a lot of product. So I did pick up these Monday shampoo and conditioners, never tried them, but the packaging is so freaking cute and I've heard good things. So this is a moisturizing shampoo for dull and dry hair, but it doesn't hurt to add a little more moisture, especially with the harsh water on board. So we're gonna give it a whirl in the shower. Time to wash this hair thoroughly. My hair feels amazing, like not even being dramatic. Using that shampoo and conditioner, it feels so good. It feels so hydrated. I'll keep you posted on how it feels once it's dry tomorrow, but so far so good. I'm pretty pleased with it. For the rest of the night, I am going to tuck into bed and read my book. I just started a new book yesterday. I'm reading the novel Love Story by Ashley Poston. I read her two other books, The Seven Year Slip and The Dead Romantics, and I loved both of them so much. They're like two of my favorite books I think I've read this year. So I'm excited about this one. I want to say it's a newer book, but not really sure. Anyways, I am 10% of the way through. So I'm going to read this for the next hour or so, and then I'm going to call it a night. Good morning. It is day three of the cruise, our final day of this weekend cruise. Today's going to be fairly busy. I still have a lot I want to get done to continue on from yesterday's productivity, but I also have all skates this afternoon and we do have shows this evening. So I'm going to be working throughout the day from this morning until pretty late at night tonight. I just got back from breakfast. I had some eggs and I also had some oatmeal with some brown sugar, a little bit of walnuts, blueberry compote, and some granola. It was really, really tasty. And now it's time to get my day started. I really would love a walk on the track, but my knee is just relentless. It's still bothering me and it's quite bad today. So I think I'm going to just take it easy. Maybe I'll do a very relaxed walk later, but for now I want to start checking things off the list. So cheers to a very productive Sunday and go Bills. Let's check on the skates this morning. They look pretty freaking good. I think they're, they're good to go. I can put the laces back in. Pretty happy with how they look. I love a touchdown. It was a good one. Okay, ready? So they have the possession. He just passed it right to him. Oh my god. Yep. Okay, Bass. Come on. Yep. Nice. I've just finished all skates like 15 minutes ago, quickly changed into some active wear for tonight's shows. Decided to go with a little red and blue moment to support the Bills who are playing today and are currently winning. I just checked the score. They're in the third quarter, so fingers crossed for them. But I do need to preset my costumes, warm up, and I've got first warm up for the shows tonight. So I'm gonna head downstairs and get a move on it.
all ready to go for the show. Just going to stretch out a little bit and then it's gonna be time to get the skates on. Hi. Hey, what's up? Ready for the show? Yeah. 139, baby. Whoa. That's Whoa. a lot of shows. talking to myself. <laughs> we had two great shows, energy was great, and the house was full for both shows. First one was definitely more full, but still, good energy for both. And now we're, we're tired. We gotta put our clothes away, and stretch club, and food. Actually, it doesn't look that messy back here, but. That's because I've hung up all my costumes Yes, here. exactly, same. Like, Mine are there, right there. They go newest trench in for fall. <laughs> fall 2024. The of the season. Uh, asphalt. <laughs> well, it is, uh, it's literally 1215. We were in the mess for over an hour. We ate and then we ended up staying there chatting for a long while. So it was a nice chat, <laughs> but now we're back. We're tired. We need to shower. Take off the makeup and get ready for bed. It's officially Brianna's birthday. So, happy birthday, Brianna! Oh, thank you. We have some fun plans tomorrow for her. Tomorrow her, and the next day. Yeah. Her special day. Yeah, the next two days. So, really, it's the Brianna cruise. The birthday cruise. Birthday cruise. <laughs> we need to get you one of those shirts. Oh, no. Please don't. I want to end off the vlog. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me for the last couple days. It is rocky now. If I'm wobbling all over the place, that's why. But uh, yeah, it's been a, another cruise down. Tomorrow marks five weeks till sign off. So we are getting there. We are definitely getting there and my parents come in a week. Thank you guys again for watching. Love you to the moon and back and I'll see you in the next one.